Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Quotes 266. Quote today is by David Viscott, and he was a psychiatrist in real life, and he also had a radio talk show in which he gave psychological advice over the radio talk show. All right, let's continue here. Uh, David Viscott had his own full-time uh, talk show in which he gave away free psychological counseling on air, on a, you know, broadcast over the radio. Uh, he was one of the first real psychiatrists to ever do this, uh, you know, especially in real life. Similar to, or like, similar to um, the character Frasier in the sitcom, sitcom meaning, you know, the funny TV show Frasier. Uh, it's off the air now, but of course that was a very popular show for many, many years. Uh, and let's let's take a look at um, let's take a look at the, his quote here. The purpose of life is to discover your gift. The work of life is to develop it. The meaning of life is to give it away. Okay, let's continue. Everyone uh, is born with one or more gifts. Um, some people are born with a number of them. Yeah, gifts could be anything. I mean, it could even just be beauty. Beauty could be a gift. Uh, you, any sort of skills or abilities that you have, especially natural ones. You know, if somebody naturally had a great voice, like, you know, Whitney Houston used to have, that would definitely be called something like a gift. Or if somebody has natural talent at sports. Or maybe just, you know, somebody has good intelligence or, you know, just has a way of, um, you know, so, somebody who's even just being sweet and calming people down or making people, you know, appreciate life. Uh, all of these things are different gifts, so each person may actually be born with a number of gifts, whether they realize it or not. All right, so let's continue. Um, okay, the reason we call them gifts um, is the idea that they are gifts from God. Uh, David Viscott is telling you your purpose in life is to identify uh, and discover these gifts. Of course, after discovering and recognizing them, um, you know, you, you have to, you have to work on that. You must learn to develop them, refine them, possibly perfect them. Yeah. You can't be too lazy to, you know, you, you have to put some effort into your gifts, even, even beauty. You could lose your beauty if you don't take care of it as well. Uh, so you, you know, they're not, not making it too easy for you. You still got to work for it. All right, let's continue. Uh, all right. But the meaning of life is to give them away. This means they are meant to be shared with others. I mean, that, that's the purpose. That's why you're given your gifts. Your gifts are to be shared with other people. Uh, make your gifts available to others. And of course, only use them for good. Yeah, we do know a lot of people in life, they do have gifts. They don't always use them for good. Some people might use them for evil. Some, some people might use their special a talent, you know, to scam people, to cheat them. And they, they might have the gift of being able to persuade people easily, but they're using them for bad reasons, to cheat people out of money or to do evil or gain, you know, power just to control people. This is not good. So use your gifts for good purposes. Okay, let's go on. Um, as a talk show host, he did actually, you know, kind of literally give advice away for free. However, this does not mean everyone should only give their gifts away and accept no pay. You know, everybody, of course, has to make a living. Everybody has to get by. Um, maybe you shouldn't be too greedy, but, you know, you should, you, you, you do have to, you do have to survive. Okay. Um, but, but here, you know, in fact, uh, he probably made more money from the talk show when, uh, you know, the talk show over the radio in which he was giving advice away for free because this made him so famous. Uh, first of all, he made money being on air, being on the radio. They probably paid him a lot more money. He was probably making more doing this than when he was a psychiatrist and just charging fees directly to people. He probably made more as the radio show host. Okay. And then, of course, he was able to write books. And because of his popularity of being on the radio, you know, he kind of like a semi-celebrity, uh, his books sold better and he's able to make more money that way too. So I guess in a way he kind of got blessed, you know, financially as well. Even though he's giving this stuff away for free on the radio, uh, he's still, you know, he's still doing very well financially. Okay, let's continue. 
Uh, okay. However, he found a way to share his ability to help others. Okay. You should try to do the same, whether it enriches you financially or not. Try to help to share your gifts with others. Anyway, that's that. That was that's his idea in his quote. Okay. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was food for thought. I hope you, uh, it makes you think, this sort of quote. Um, okay. Anyway, I hope you got it. Uh, so long. Bye-bye.